but it has presided over the most tenacious witch hunt of one of 78 women MPs. A first timer, a single woman with no political lineage, elected from a far flung constituency on the Bangladesh border. This Lok Sabha has also seen the weaponization of a parliamentary committee. Ironically, the Ethics Committee, which was set up to serve as a moral compass for members. Instead, it has been abused egregiously today to, exact, to do exactly what it was never meant to do, which is to bulldoze the opposition and become another weapon to talk to us into submission. This committee and this report has broken every rule in the book. In essence, you are finding me guilty of breaching a code of ethics that does not exist. The committee is punishing me for putting, engaging in a practice that is routine, accepted and encouraged in the House. The findings are based solely on the written testimonies of two private citizens whose versions contradict each other in material terms, none of whom I was allowed to cross-examine. It refused to summon the businessmen to orally testify and there is no evidence of any cash, of any gifts, anywhere. The recommendation of expulsion is based solely on the ground that I have shared my Lok Sabha portal login. There are no rules whatsoever to govern the sharing of logins. As the hearing of the Ethics Committee demonstrates, all of us MPs are conveyor belts to get questions from the public, from citizens, and to voice that in Parliament. What is important is that if this Modi government thought that by shutting me up, they are going to do away with the Adani issue, let me tell you this, that this kangaroo court has only shown to the all of India that the haste and the abuse of due process you have used demonstrates how important Mr. Adani is to you and to what length you will go to harass a single woman MP into shutting her into submission. Tomorrow the CBI will be sent to my house. I'm sure they will harass me for the next six months. But I would like to ask, what about the 13,000 crore coal scam of Mr. Adani that the CBI and the ED have not found place to do, look at? You tell me I have compromised national security with a login portal? Mr. Adani is buying all our ports, all our airports, and his shareholders are foreign professional investors, and in the Ministry of Home Affairs is giving them clearance to buy all our infrastructure? Ramesh Biduri stands up in Parliament and says to Danish Ali, he is one of 26 Muslim MPs, only one of 26. In a country of 200 million Muslims, the BJP has 303 MPs and has not sent one Muslim to Parliament. Ramesh Puduri stood up and told Danish Ali, if no action has been taken. In the Gujarat, Maratha, Dravira, Utkala, Bongo, you don't have the Punjab. Sindh is not ours. Dravir is not yours. Utkal is not yours. Bongo is not yours. Where do you think you're going to rule us? Where do you think you get this new majority from? The Ethics Committee has no power to expel. You have assumed the powers of a quasi-judicial authority and imposed a penalty on me that you have no power to do. You have disregarded due process, proportionality and abused every tenant. This is the beginning of your end. We're going to come back and we're going to see the end of it. So thank you very much. Oh, well done.